Hey guys, this is Johnny, and I thought today I would start my first vlog, and it's early. It's like 9.10, as you can see. Oh, so my, whatever that is. Um, I'm looking at my monitor, I'm not actually looking inside the camera. So, uh, not sure what I'm going to say today, but I haven't put uh, much content up uh, as of late. So, um, I thought, oh, I need to get something going. And something up so I thought I would just kind of share just me shooting from the hip I guess maybe anyway it's early and uh, I was actually getting ready to start editing uh, a short film that I made a few years ago so I went to film school at the University of Central Arkansas and back in 2015 I made my first five minutes short and it's a uh, it's a film called Shio and it's about a man from heaven and hell and they meet in purgatory um, every day and they did kind of discuss, you know, life. And basically, um, you know, they chat and the people that are waiting in purgatory, they, uh, they end up taking them to their final destination, whether it be heaven or whether it be hell. And so on this specific day, they see something they've never seen before. Actually, they see a couple arrive and, um, and then from there it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's a very, very short film. And when I made it, I, I was rushing. I shot everything on one day. It was on Easter Sunday back in 2015. I'm the type of filmmaker that if I'm gonna put something out, I wanna make sure that it looks decent or looks good or it looks, I won't put anything out that looks half-assed. So I've been working on this film for five years and I've since made several films <laughs> after this. So one of the, one of the things, one of the things that really hurt this film was our sound and so we were filming it inside of a wine bar which that's what purgatory was it was actually a wine a wine bar and of course you know we, we sorry about that and of course we couldn't um, turn off uh, the uh, refrigerated uh, areas so we kept them running and it, it kind of hurt the film a little bit there was an actress that I had cast in this film that didn't really work out I, you know I had to cut scenes you know from with with her scenes out um, so I went back and recut it and uh, added some really cool little things some like little visual effects that go a little deeper I guess so uh, sound design all the fun stuff I'm working on that anyway that was a long rant <laughs> and uh, but yes, I, I thought about working on that film today. But now, nah, like, uh, what's going on with me? Uh-huh. Lots of stuff, I guess. Um, I signed with an agency down in Alabama, and um, they've really been getting me a lot of auditions. And so I've been filming auditions left and right. You know, even as I was working on Chariot, um, I've just been filming a lot of auditions. And... Um, can you, hopefully you can hear me right. I got my mic right here, but I got my fan on, so I'm not sure if it, if you can hear that or not. And my TV's on, and there's my Keurig. Speaking of Keurig, I need to get my coffee. Oh, this is the good stuff right here. Hazelnut creamers, and I usually put three in my coffee. And I have a lot, a lot of Splenda, so I gotta put that in my coffee too. Okay, got all my stuff in here. Ooh, this is good stuff. Mm, you know, I mean, I'm not a coffee holic, but I do enjoy coffee, and coffee is good. So I auditioned for a film um, that has David Coveney in it, and it's actually not on IMDb yet. So uh, I read for that, and that's filming, or it was filming down in Louisiana. I also auditioned for a David O. Russell film, and that was kind of strange, but um, it was cool, and um, it didn't work out. And lately, I've had four auditions for an ABC miniseries called Women of the Movement and it's uh, about Emmett Till's mother I believe if I'm not mistaken but uh, I've had four different auditions and it was uh, a little nerve-wracking but um, I don't think I got on that one either but it's just one of those things you know, this is a part of the business you know you you get these auditions you get your opportunity you read and then you just learn and you know, figure things out along the way. So, uh, oh, and I also auditioned for a Lumi, Lumi commercial. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun, but it was me just being ridiculous. So no, the auditions have been really cool. Um, and this agency out of Alabama, um, yeah, very thankful for what they're what they're doing for me. They're submitting me, and I'm getting 
I'm getting read, so it's pretty cool. And um, but no, as far as like you know, like I've shared that I've worked on the chariot up here in Little Rock, um, and that was one with John Malkovich and Thomas Mann and, and Rosa Salazar, and that was really cool. That was, that was a really fun film. Um, crazy, golly, that was crazy. And if you hadn't seen um, some friends of mine at Studio 241, my friend Donovan Thompson, um, he used to be my roommate, uh, he's got a podcast and I will put the link somewhere up here and that way you can kind of see how, you know, see my little chat about the chariot. And you know, it, it was, it, like I said, you know, it was a learning experience and it was a tough film to make. And, there are a lot of things that I felt could have went better, but you know, you, you live and you learn. And so, yeah, the chariot and awesome. I'm trying to start my YouTube page and, you know, trying to get subscribers and trying to create content. But, um, when I'm not doing this stuff, I also freelance, you know, here in Little Rock. So I'm working on nonprofit work and, you know, that keeps, that keeps the bills, you know, keeps the bills paid. So, and I'm actually, um, uh, I want to, you know, make another film and I'd like to take everybody out there on that journey. So, um, my plan is to, you know, film everything from pre-production on how, uh, how we're going to, you know, the idea, whatever idea I come up with, which I haven't came up with one yet. So the idea to pre-production to, you know, script, all that stuff, casting and all that stuff and um, then during filming you know I want to document everything I want to put it out there so that what it um, what I do in my process I can show you and if it, if it works out for you you know maybe you can you know take something that I've, I've done and you know, use it uh, for your own projects and stuff and that's the whole point of this you know, YouTube page is to um, is to make things and or, or to share things that's worked for me um, I can show you I guess uh, room this is my editing what I use to edit uh, there's my plant spike and uh, don't look at that mess that's what I, my coffee stuff I just made my coffee so um, but yeah there's my computer there's my plant spike and hopefully we'll see more spike in the future yeah, this right there we go yeah um, what I'm using right now to film is a Sony uh, a6400 and so uh, I got my wireless road goes as far as like my boop, microphones go. Sorry about that. If you heard that little station back here, that's where I keep all my, my gimbal and all my stuff back there. It's my laptop. So working on some stuff this morning. But yeah, I mean, it's a very small setup and it does what I need it to do. You don't need to spend a lot of money to, to make content. And here's the thing. The one thing that you really, really need to know is that it's not what you shoot with, but it's how you shoot. This camera will do things that my iPhone and other cameras won't be able to do, but, um, but yeah, it's it's really how how you set up your shots and how you set up your your lighting and you know it's 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 it, it, it's how you use your equipment that makes the difference. You know, people can brag all day long about you know well, I got a red. And if you don't know how to shoot with that red, if you don't know what you're doing, it's pointless. So don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. But yeah, so besides that, I'm working on music. I write music. See, my keyboard. I score films, you know, I score films as well. So um, working on music, music is a passion, so I'm, I'm also doing that. So I'm doing everything right now. And watch tutorials just like anybody else does you know I love watching um, content on YouTube and I also um, got to brush up on my own my own skills so I, I'm constantly trying to learn something whether it be behind the camera or in front of the camera if you feel like you've hit your plateau and you have no room for growth then you know, unfortunately it's it's gonna be a short journey for you so a couple of films uh, of mine won some awards if you guys want to take a look at that kind of cool so yeah, so this is actually you know, an award I won uh, several years ago uh, at the uh, Fault Line Film Festival. Um, I filmed Ladies Night, which I will eventually uh, upload on YouTube, and um, I'll show it to you. It's a dark comedy. It's my uh, most successful film. It also won Best Short at the Fayetteville Film Festival, which is really, really cool. 
Um, that was a surprise. I didn't expect that to happen at all. There were so many awesome films that screened that year. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool to, to have won this. Um, that year was a good year. I had like two other films I was in that won awards as well. So pretty awesome. It's my trophy from the 48 Hour Film Project when we won back in 2013 uh, with a musical we did called La Grand Fête. La Grand Fête. So yeah, I'll eventually get to that film here too. That'll probably be on my next short film theater. So be sure to come back and hang out for that. And uh, The Devil Made Me Do It, I also won Best Mystery Suspense uh, for this one as well. Um, this was a, it's, from what I hear, it's very rare to win back-to-back -back awards, which I think this was from 16 and 17. Yeah, I, I've heard that from Faultline, it's very, very rare to win back-to-back -back awards. And um, it was really cool to, uh, this, this festival is pretty awesome. So if you're a student filmmaker out there, submit to Faultline Film Festival in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. They're uh, really incredible people and um, they, they give out cash awards. So uh, with both of these, I was able to put that towards my other films. I can't think of anything else I want to say, but um, but yeah, just thanks for hanging out. Um, this is my first vlog or whatever it is, and I will um, try to do these more often. If I'm not doing, you know, my tutorials or tips on this or that, then I'll share stuff like this and take you guys around. And I won't be as on top of things, I guess. Hmm. This is really good coffee. So thanks again. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, thanks for rambling with me. Uh, it's early and um, I think I'm going to start editing. So um, I will see you guys sooner than later.